All right, Roji, what have we got today? Uh, this is a Christmas present I got called the Space Rail. These rails for the use for the little balls that ride on them, mm -hmm. they glow in the dark. Okay, what else do they do? Well, of course, they're rails, so they let the ball roll on them. All right. And this is a giant thing like in the Archimedes screw, but it's an elevator. That's right, so. And this is a loop loop, if everybody does. Oh, yeah, that's his favorite part, the little loop loop in yeah. there. Why don't you give it a couple runs and we'll see how it goes. We'll just give it a second first. There's, so there's two separate tracks on this. Yep. <laughs> She's sick of a walking. Alright, why don't you try the lights, babe? We haven't seen it in the dark yet. And that did not show up at all in the video. Okay. But it took quite a while of um, getting all the little rails the right length and all to, the... He had to uh, cut them. Oh, yeah. We had, well, we had to cut them, but um, we had to get all the angles right, all the lengths right, so it would fall in. They, might, they would fall out of some places of the... Uh, the rails, but like it fall out here, it fall out of here, it fall out here, it fall out here, it fall out here. All right, Drew. Fall out there. It was falling out all over the place. Kicks up on the Archimedes screw. It's going. So do you like it? Oh yeah. Was it a good Christmas oh, yeah. present? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this yeah, this device right here, this um, Archimedes. But it works like one. It's a continuous inclined plane, so it's and like it looks a, like infinite. So it's like a ramp, but curled up around an axle. So it's a spiral staircase like a ramp. Guy named Archimedes a long time ago took this design. You see how these little steel rails hold in the ball bearings? We'll see one come around again. Oh, that one didn't hold. Archimedes has some work to do. Well, they, they keep the ball bearings from falling out. They should. So instead of these steel rails, only three of them, imagine a tube around this entire auger or inclined plane or screw. So if there was a tube around the entire thing, all the way around, it would hold in much more. So what Archimedes did, he took this auger with a tube all the way around it and a hand crank at the top literally like an old engine and you could stick this in some water and suck the water out of the river well you could push the water out of the river pumps push they don't suck they don't suck very well they push a lot better and you could turn this this uh drill however you want to call it drill auger incline plane ramp screw it's all the same thing it's kind of a drill because it drills it could there's a lot of augers and drills shaped like that and uh you turn it and it pushes the water up. And what they would do with it is they would move the water from uh, a lower level up to a higher level. And that was the very first pump ever invented by Archimedes, later to be called the Archimedes screw. And subsequently, it was the invention of the screw. So every bolt screw that we have in our uh, civilization, every pump, can be drawn back to this basic design right here. We have that pretty much everything much. as we know it yeah. in some way, shape, or form put together with any kind of screw, fastener, bolt, nut, stud, and it's all fueled some way, somehow, by a, usually a pump kind of somewhere. Mm -hmm. Those were tight, yeah. So, Drew, anything you want to say before we call it a night? Uh, smash the like button, build one of these yourself? Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, the the instruction kit said it was good for 10 years and older, and he was nervous that he wasn't old enough to put it together, but luckily I've got that part in the bag.